All right, guys, thanks for tuning in again. Um, we've been a little bit slack lately, just getting caught up with other things, new house and busy with other things. So, um, mini rod hasn't changed much, um, but it's time to get stuck back in and get this thing finished. So I'll take you around to show you what we have or haven't achieved and what we've got to do. Basically, it's just as you saw it a few weeks back, um, the motor's got to come out. Uh, everything's got to come apart and just finish everything off. So I've just finished modifying this, well, tacking up the steering a little bit. So I shortened this arm. It was about that long. I've shortened it back um, and it requires much less turns at the steering wheel itself to get it to um, turn. So once I pull that apart, I'll finish all that off and model it properly. Uh, we've still got to, once we get the motor out, I've still got to fix the issue here with that slipping on the spine. So I'll probably end up doing what's called a scotch lock in there. I'll show you what I'm going to do there. Uh, I've got to make, take this flooring out in order to put another brace in. Um, just off the back of the motor there, I'm going to weld something in there and brace it off there. And once I do that, pull the motor out. Um, and just start tidying everything up. So I've had a few people ask me how the um, how exactly the drive system works on this um, mini rod that we've built. So I'll um, just take you through and show you and see if we can figure it out or talk you through it. So basically this bit here is part of the original um, drive shaft that went inside the swing arm. And that's what I've cut it somewhere in here and adapted it to a uh, car's two-piece drive shaft and then just machined up some metal that will adapt that size to that size and welded it together. So that gives you the first joint. I've got the centre bearing there, just unbolted. Goes down into here. So that's part of the original swing arm as well which I welded a bracket off the bottom there, which I've just unbolted, which holds that in place. There you can see where there's a 25mm axle. I've bored out the centre of this so that the axle will fit right through. So that's one solid axle. Like that. This is so a 25mm hub and just some steel plate I had that I drilled to fit into here. So that's bolted to there, which is key weight into the axle. And that just slides inside. You can see it's got like a, a spline center in there. So I'll undo this one, show you what happens there. I'll show you how it joins on. If you look here, this is the bolt that I've just pulled out of there. So it just locates. Alright, see there, I've slipped that bit out so when that bolt goes in, it holds it from going back and forward. You should be able to pull this out. Okay, so that's the inside there, which has been welded onto this bit. And there's that. Show you how this comes apart. There we go. There, that's where that's bolted to that. And then this one, as that spins, looks like that. So this is just sliding over the top of the axle. And then it goes back into there. That should give you a bit of an idea how it works. Okay.
All right, so that's tacked in. That should take a lot of the foot. So I'll see, right, so see that moving just slightly. Once I tighten that up, should take a lot of the flex here. Cool, that means we can pull the motor out. Now. Okay, so I've nearly fully stripped down the motor, um, and you may have seen in, the, in our shakedown video, this was where we had the issues, where that was um, spinning on this spline. So I think, I don't know if any of you know anything, it's something called a scotch lock, because the spline itself is really stripped, and in there is really stripped. So I'm going to drill a hole it sort of goes half on that and half on that. Well, this is quite hardened, but we'll just see how we go. Drill and then tap in there and put a small bolt in there just to stop that being able to spin around. And hopefully that'll fix our gear change issues and then we'll be able to, um, yeah, try something other than first gear. Um, another thing I have to fix is I've got a whole new mechanical seal ordered for this water pump. It was leaking, mixing water with the oil. So this is where, that's the mechanical seal where that goes there. This is the impeller. So I gotta fix that. Um, and then just give it all a little bit of a clean up. And give it a paint. We've got some stuff here. It's some aluminium engine enamel. And then I bought these cans of Dulux Duramax 2 pack gloss clear coat. So it's got a two part system yet. Um, I'm not sure exactly how you do it yet. But it mixes it in the can, and then when I spray it on, it'll um, harden all and make it sort of fuel proof and everything. So it should stay really nice and shiny and be able to, easy to clean. Um, there's my little <laughs> exhaust manifold intake thing, I've got to finish that all up, clean that all up, this the whole turbo setup. After I've cleaned everything up and we're reassembling it, we'll do a video of the whole reassembly. But yeah, that's where we're at for now.